What's up guys, today I will be going over how to install a brand new front suspension with no special tools. First thing first, I freed the bag of the handlebar, the headset, and all of the spacers. After removing the stem, the fork should be easy to slide out, but for some reason, mine was kind of uh, resilient, so I had to use a rubber mallet. Once separated from the frame, the next step was to remove the crown race. In case you don't know where it is, look right above the crown of the fork where the tube is. It looks like it is part of the fork itself. Some will say that a special tool is required to remove it. Yet I managed to get the job done with the thinnest flathead screwdriver I could find by getting it under the crown race. Installing it on the new fork was sort of easy. It looks like there are one inner ring and one outer ring. I made sure I hit the inner ring lightly all around until the crown race sat flat on top of the crown of the fork. Next step was to remove the star nut which is located inside the tube. Since I was going to use the same one from the old fork, I wanted to get it out first. Star nuts are designed to be moved one way. Although it was close to the top end of the tube, I would have had to push it in all the way through until I realized that I could save time by cutting the tube just about an inch or two below the star nut. New forks usually come with a very long tube, so to make sure that I cut it the exact length, I installed it on the frame with all of the spacers on the stem so I can mark where to cut it. Once the spot is fully marked, I take everything off. For each tube, it should take about 50 to 60 full turns with that type of cutter, and the more you're turning it, it becomes loose. The tightness will need to be adjusted as you go. Alright, things are getting easier. Now that the new tube is precisely cut, I only have to lay the old tube that has a star nut inside on top of it and push it in. I have seen people insert a screwdriver in the thread hole to hammer it down. I strongly believe that would increase the risk of damaging the thread. To make it safe, I use the largest socket I have that can fit in the tube. Then I use a screwdriver and the mallet to hit it past the old tube to the new one, all by making sure that I do not push it any further than where it was in the original tube. If you do not want to do all of that yourself, you can either buy those special tools or bring it to your local bike shop. I strongly believe that is the cheapest and easiest way to install a brand new front suspension. If you do have better recommendations, please let the world know in the comments below and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.